Earlier this week, there was a right wing rapper, yeah, Tyson James. He released a music video for his new song called Toxic. And as you can imagine, the music video was kind of aligned with the name of the song. And I know we've covered a lot of hateful conservative musicians on the show before, but this guy really takes the cake. Homophobic, transphobic, essentially a disgusting display. Which would probably explain why Lauren Boebert likes it. Uh, we'll get into that a little more later. But as far as this individual, James, well, his discography, it includes songs like All Lives Matter. Yeah. Let's go, Brandon, Armed and Dangerous, Written House, and Written House 2. Because apparently, you know, one song about a murderous teen isn't, it's just never enough. Anyways, Toxic is from his latest album, Here to Stay, which dropped last week. And check this out. You know, he's rapping in front of this background. Uh, which is just, it says it all. Also, he's writing uh, abomination on pride flags. Uh, he's burning pride flags, uh, a pride, and then because, you know, why not? Also, like most conservative grifters, James acts like he is so incredibly persecuted for not being able to be a bigot, uh, showing himself in chains here. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, exactly where does Representative Lauren Boebert fit into all this? Well, last year, James was featured on a song called Let's Go Brandon by Bryson Gray. And apparently, Boebert was a huge fan of the song. The Colorado representative tweeted this. For your awareness, YouTube has banned the song Let's Go Brandon, but WAP is still available for your viewing and listening pleasure. Carry on. Another censorship fail from the left. YouTube bans Let's Go Brandon, Patriots rally and put the song on the top of the iTunes chart, even beating out Adele. Good work. She then tags the artist before exclaiming, I've got my copy. Now, as far as James's recent song being released, Bobert has yet to put out any kind of statement, but she did manage to tweet this today. She said, I identify as non binary. Oh, isn't that cute? Mm, that's really cute. She's special. Uh, what do you think, Jack? All right. So, uh, first of all, uh, this is the party uh, formerly pretending to be party of family values. And they've got uh, congressmen celebrating. Uh, let's go, Brandon, which of course is a euphemism for F Joe Biden. Um, but and every once in a while, when a Democrat will say something about a Republican, it'd be the lightest little thing. You know how Democrats are. They're like, oh, I slightly disagree with Ted Cruz. They're like, oh, where has civility gone? <laughs> She's celebrating a song that says F Joe Biden, okay, let alone all the other songs. Uh, Rittenhouse, of course, was acquitted. Uh, but he did kill uh, two people, and so this guy's like, "Oh well, good. I'll celebrate the death of those two people by writing two different songs about how awesome it was that he killed two people at a left-wing protest." Uh, and uh, United States Congress people don't find that problematic. For them, uh, that's not the bug; that's the feature. So that's how much our politics have devolved. And then uh, my favorite, Adrian, is when right wingers pretend that they're okay with gay rights. No, no, no. I don't know why any uh, gay Americans would be opposed to their agenda and opposed to Republican uh, Party. I mean, they happen to think that uh, the choices they make and the people that they love and their entire lives are quote an abomination, and they attack them and they celebrate those attacks. But Kalaji, I don't know what would make you think that the right wing is opposed to all Americans being equal. Mm, I, I, this individual James, as well as Bobert, just trash on trash. I'm sure the man has no lyrical skills or ability, and you know the fact that he has to do all of this hate mongering in the backdrop tells you that he's trying to distract from the fact that he has no bars uh, and the thought that he'd ever be behind bars. Like, get out of here! It's like you have no street cred, you have nothing to offer, and Bobert is just absolute nonsense. It's just, mm -mm, I'll pass. Yeah, you know, I, I had the misfortune of watching the video because uh, to get the context for the story, uh, and the way that he portrays himself, it looks a ton like Al Qaeda. Like he's constantly yeah. dressed up in like the same similar garb, carrying similar weapons, and I guess they're proud of that these days. Welcome to the new American right wing. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.